welcome back to EDH Deck Building. I am your host, Demo, and I've got gameplay for you guys. Finally, people have been asking for it for quite some time. It took a little while to transition into it. You know, there's a lot of channels out there that only do gameplay. And it takes some effort to, when you don't do gameplay, you're doing a whole lot of other content, and then you're transitioning into doing gameplay. There's a lot of adjustments that have to be made. And I didn't really have the opportunity to do it either. You know, all the people asking me for gameplay, of course, because of the lockdowns and all of that, I don't really have a play group either. However, I started a Discord, and I started playing with my patrons on Discord on Spell Table. So... For those who aren't familiar with Spell Table, it is a, you know, an online, you use your webcams to sort of film the game. I, I think everyone's pretty familiar with it. I will put the link in the description, though, for anyone who hasn't actually used it before. Um, I've been playing with my patrons on my Discord, I, I guess, via Patreon and Discord and Spell Table uh, using all those three platforms to play with my patrons. And of course, they're all over the world. Um, and it actually can be sometimes pretty difficult. That's one thing I didn't think of when I first started doing it was I got patrons that are in like Germany and Australia and everywhere else. And sometimes it can be hard to line up those times. You know, I actually have on my Discord a, a little uh, sort of app or whatever or program that sort of checks everyone's time so that everyone can sort of line up. And, and sometimes guys are playing at three in the morning when it's like one in the afternoon for me. So that can be pretty interesting. And, you know, you got to navigate those things. But I've been doing it for a while now. Uh, I've been playing for a few months now with my patrons and eventually getting to the point where I'll actually record games so that I can put it on my channel. We, you know, as a group, me and my patrons have sort of been preparing for this eventuality. And I think it's really important for me to get gameplay out there. You know, I do have very particular opinions about certain things. For example, what is a casual commander game, right? I've, I have my particular opinions about that. I actually have a playlist that is talking about what is casual commander. I'll put the link for that as well. And you guys can, because there's a lot of videos in there. And some of them I did very early on that I think are really important that people should check out. And this is what it should look like, in my opinion. Everyone has their own opinion. You know, I started out watching a lot of gameplay online. Um, Commander Versus, I watched a lot. I watched the game nights on uh, the Command Zone. And that was my, I'm like, that looks like a casual game to me. So sort of interesting and, and a little weird even when people sort of make certain claims about what a casual commander game should look like. And I'm just like, uh, I don't get it. What are you talking about? <laughs> the stuff that I watch, the games last like an hour or maybe an hour and a half, two hours. Uh, this game in particular actually was an hour and 46 minutes. Of course, I edited it down quite a bit. It's interesting, you know, when you start editing these videos, it really gives you an insight into how things work and how a lot of time is spent searching libraries, shuffling libraries, um, thinking about what you're going to do for your turn, especially later in the game, players will really sit there. They'll draw their card for their turn, and then they'll sit there going, hmm, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And uh, if, once you cut all that out, you get, like I cut out probably more than half the game, right? So um, pretty interesting game. You know, I've been recording games with my patrons for a while. And again, I wanted to get a good sort of cross-section of, of the things that I think fit with what I'm saying, how... You know, I, I have a particular opinion about the things that you should be doing in a casual game, but also the cards you should be playing or shouldn't be playing, all that kind of stuff. And all my patrons sort of fit in with that as well, where they, you know, they're, they're doing a lot of the things that I'm doing. So I would say the game that, I, that I'm presenting here, the first one that I'm putting on my channel is a very, you know, quintessential casual commander game in my opinion so hope you guys enjoy the game i will be adding at the end some commentary on the game i will be doing this you know however many gameplay games i i decide to put on my channel i don't know how often i'm going to be doing it but when i do i will put a little bit of commentary at the end on the game so getting to it first up we have julian who is going to be playing his vadi il doll deck which of course wants to be changing creatures power and toughness into one so that he can get into some shenanigans, probably more so I'd say the deck is built around turning his opponent's creature's toughness into one so that he can kill them. It typically seems to be the best way to use that commander. Then we have Nalhafi who is playing his Togo and Silas deck, which is a really interesting deck where he's making lots of tokens and using those artifact tokens to his advantage. Obviously he can also equip those rock tokens onto his Silas 
which can then throw them and has death touch. So a lot of that happening as well. Lord Farquaad, also known as Carter, who is playing his Quain deck, which of course is doing those Quain things, taking advantage of the draw, taking advantage of the life gain, taking advantage of the fact that everyone thinks you're playing a hug deck, right? So a little bit of a false hug strategy there. And then of course we have me, and I decided to play my Questing Beast deck today. A deck that I have been struggling with a little bit, and interestingly enough, right before this game, I made some new additions from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, which actually played a valuable role in this game. So, let's get to it. Uh, drop a turn. I will play a Forest and Pests. Cool. <clears throat> I'm going to go for Terramorphic Expanse. I'll fetch a Mountain and then pass. Nice. Draw. Planes. Soul Ring. That's why I kept it. <laughs> Look at you. All right, pass. All right, I'm going to draw. And I will play Desert of the Indomitable. Indomitable? Tap. Yes. And mm -hmm. that's it. I'm, in. I'm done. Tap upkeep draw, and I will play another forest. And then I tap two for Farseek. Finding a swamp. I'll draw. I'll go for an island. And sort of the animus. And I'll pass mm. turn. Alright. Drawing. I'm gonna put a uh, island for turn. Coin, baby. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Sadly. I know. Everybody wants it. Yeah, it's great when you play your commander and people are happy about it. Right? Um, <laughs> I am going to play a basic forest, and then I'm going to play an emerald medallion. I'm done. Uh, I'll tap. Up, keep and draw. I play a swamp. Tap one green and one black for Cheville. Um oh. Then I will tap another two for a rampant growth, finding a basic, and I pass turn while I'm searching. Drop for turn, play uh, Graven Cairns, and go for a Crucible of Wolves. Pass the turn. Draw. Let's start things off great with Quain. Everybody can draw a card and gain a life. Nice. I will do that. Yes. I'm glad. Deserted Beach coming in uh, untapped. I'll hammer its archive. And uh, I think I pass my turn. All right. I will untap and I will draw. And I will play another basic forest. And I will think about what I want to do. I think it's going to be Yavamaya Elder. Which is only oh. going to cost two. Nice artwork. Mm hmm. The OG. Mm hmm. Yep. <clears throat> I'm done. Pass turn. I go to my untap. I've got an upkeep trigger, and I can put a bounty counter, and I will put it on the elder, because you probably will sacrifice it at some, mm. at some point. You think so, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And then I go to draw. Oh. Okay, one, two, three, for a morbid opportunist. Uh, with that, I pass the turn. Alright, uh, I'm gonna play Togo. Yeah, I'll play a Terramorphic Expanse nice. for the graveyard. Uh, get a rock, I'll sacrifice it, uh, and get another rock. And I will look for uh, a swamp. And I'll pass the turn. All right. Untap. Draw. Well, how about that's Quain? <laughs> Let's. Yes, gain a card and draw a life, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I get to do two. Ooh, spicy. Gaining two life as well. Because of a Hummer, it's archive. Breaking that symmetry. Yes, please. Um, I'm going to play 
uh, Walking Atlas, Sky Diamond, but a Rogue's Passage. Hmm. I think that's it for me. Pass. Okay, I will draw. I will play a Ghost Quarter. All right. Time to start making people unhappy, I think. <laughs> um, or don't. Or don't, but I mean... <laughs> Um, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to play a Rex Age first of all, and I'm going to kill that Alhamatra's Archive because I think Ooh, this is way too you're good. You're right. Your I am unhappy. But so kind of you to let me use it once. Mm -hmm. You are welcome, good sir. Then, going to attack yeah. uh, Nelhafi. Uh -huh. This guy's coming at you. All right, sounds good. Uh, no blocks for me. Okay, stop. Pause. Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay, okay. Ninjutsu. So. Kappa Tech Wrecker comes in, uh, pick up my Yavimai Elder, and when it deals combat damage to a player, I may remove the Death Touch counter that is on it and exile an artifact or enchantment you control. And I'm sure you don't okay. want me to exile your Crucible of Worlds, but that is what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay, that was good. <laughs> Man, you, well, you I'm looking you at that. Make people mad. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at the Terramorphic Expanse in his graveyard, and I'm thinking that yeah. seems pretty good. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a free two every time. Yeah. yeah, but it's still one damage, right? Yeah, making enemies early. That's okay. I will pass turn. Okay. I actually annoyed everybody here because I picked up my creature with the counter on it. Exile <laughs> yeah. Crucible. Yeah. Um, I didn't even think about that. Okay. Good I for you. Will... I will put the bounty counter on your uh, cap attack wrecker. Okay. I go to my draw. I will pay three for a Rex Sage myself, and I will blow up your medallion demo. My medallion? All right. <laughs> yes. um, Retaliation was swift. Mm -hmm. Got two men left. Uh, with that, I will pass the turn. All right. So I'll draw. Uh, I'll play a Fabled Passage. I get a rock. And I'll fetch right away. I'll get two rocks. Uh, tap three for a Inspiring Statuary. That's a lot of rocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tap uh, three of the rocks and one red uh, for a Fathom Fleet Sword Jack. And I'm just going to tap one and equip one of the rocks to toggle. I'll pass the turn. Untap. Draw. Quain! Nice. Do it. Do the thing. Do it. I will draw. I will gain life. Please do. All I care about is your happiness and your well-being. All right, I'm going to tap this walking atlas so that I can put down another island. Can anyone do anything about those two really good things over there? I possibly can, but I need to remove uh, Demo's creature to oh. draw, two, draw two cards. <laughs> then, 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 then there's a chance. Then there's a right. chance. Right, okay. Um, let's, maybe, let's try maybe, out. Maybe yeah. we can make a deal, Demo. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I feel bad just to remove your creature. I, it's not that big of a deal. It's just a one three. It's not. Okay. It doesn't even do anything anymore. So oh, I won't oh, be sad about the, it. Because there's no death touch counter on. Correct. It, right? Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Uh, Got it. Got I won't it. be okay. that sad about it. But if you still want to okay. make a deal, that's cool. <laughs> no, no. Then then I'm fine. Oh okay. So I'm gonna try out Archmage Ascension there. Okay. Demo. Now now we're now now we're back on the deal side. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Don't yeah, know. It will be. Well, it's a great card if you can get the counters yep. on it. That's for I've sure. Never done it. <laughs> Let's do monologue tax. Let's do that there. I'll pass. Uh, at the end of your turn. Hello. I tap my swamp. Defile your creature demo. So I draw two cards. One of the shovel, one of the morbid opportunists. And I gain three life. Alrighty then. That's it. That is it. Okay, I'll untap. I will draw. I will play a Tyrite Sanctum. All right, let's see how this plays out. By the way, I'm already missing that Emerald Medallion. I don't like it at all. Druid of <laughs> Purification. So, oh, no. 
So I'm going to choose... Boy, there's a lot to choose from. I will choose the Inspiring Statuary, I think. I will choose the Monologue Tax. No. Mm. All right, I'll, I'll go for the uh, Archmage's Ascension. Wow. Bummer. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> I, I could do the, uh, the sword. Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. Resolving. That was very productive. I'm, I'm. Yeah, yeah it's a good card. Really good. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm that. becoming a big fan of it. To be quite productive honest, productive at making me sad. And then you know what? I'm going to attack because why not? Uh, and Carter, I'm going to pile it on, buddy. I'm going to hit you for two. Oh my god! <laughs> That's it. I'm going to find some way to not give you Queen draw. <laughs> I am done with my turn. On tap, I've got an upkeep trigger. I will put a bounty counter on the sword jack, the Phantom sure. sword jack. Mm. Then I will draw. Play a Darkmoss Bridge as my land for turn. Play for three cow drops. Oh yes, you're playing a Vadi Il Dull deck. I almost forgot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with that, I'm passing turn. I've got seven cards in hand. I'm glad I got in for two damage with my Rex Age while I could. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, Silence. And I'll go for a Marsh Flats. Uh, get a rock. And I'll fetch to get a Steam Vent. Uh, I'm going to chalk it in, play a Bellwar Stone. And then I'll play a Talisman of Creativity. And I'll pass turn after that. Untap. Draw. Sky Shark. <laughs> Let's go. Nice. Let's go right ahead in Quain. And I put a counter on Shabraz. And I gain a life. Okay. Man, why can't it say target rabbit gains flying to the end of turn? I'm going to tap two. Thought Vessel. I think that's it. I will untap. I will draw a forest. My commander's coming down. All right, my commander has haste, so I will attack immediately. You have, uh, Julian, no creatures. I can't block. You can't I can't block. block you. That's what I figured. I okay. Oh baby. You got it. You got my commander coming at you. Yep, <laughs> that is all. <laughs> no, I will take the four commander damage then. Okie dokie. That is it for me. I'm done. On tip. No upkeep trigger since there's still a creature with a bounty counter and I draw. I will play a swamp. Play my commander for four. And then I will go for attacks with my Rex Sage. Uh, it's attacking you demo, but since it's attacking, it gets one damage and dies, so I can draw off the Morbid Opportunist. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then I pass turn. Uh, I need to discard guys, sorry. I will discard a uh, Heartless Summoning, and then I have seven cards in hand. All right, I'll draw for turn. I'll play a Myriad Landscape and get a rock. It's a bunch of rocks over there. <laughs> yep. Nothing to do with them yet, but all of a sudden there will be. How big is the Walking Atlas? Is it a 1-1? One -one? Yeah, who's asking? Uh, <laughs> the rock guy might attack right now <laughs> the uh i think i'm going to equip silas with a rock and i'll move to combat uh, i'm going to send the fathom fleet at uh julian yeah that's it uh so i have an attack trigger there's a couple triggers uh i guess uh Caltrops will hit it first for one damage. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and then I have one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten artifacts. Ooh. It'll oh. take ten damage. Ouch. Oh, dear me. Uh, yeah, I take ten before, before blocks, so I go to 32. I will uh, block with Cheville. Yep. And I 
will draw two cards and gain three four, life. Yeah, four damage I'm to uh, tap Silas and throw a rocket Shaville. Oh, I, I will oh, damn. pay one green and uh, regenerate. Shaville. Oh, Ooh, damn. damn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. That's cool. Uh, so Battlefleet is going to die. It's uh, second main phase. I'm going to tap one, two, three, four, and play an unwinding clock. Mm-hmm. Very good card. And uh, the last two lands, I'm going to equip two rocks onto Silas. Hmm. Uh, pass the turn after that. Uh, he's an artifact creature, isn't he? He is. he is, yeah. Oh, damn. Uh, oh. oh, that's yeah, good. He's going to start oh. killing all our creatures. Oh, back. no. <laughs> I'm going to untap. That's... I'm going to upkeep draw. Let's Maybe. coin. Let's okay, coin. Let's, coin. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's coin, okay, guys? <laughs> Got to land. Uh, go up one. Shabraz goes up one. Go up another life because of Shabraz. What a good good guy. Are you looking to throw rocks at any of my stuff? <laughs> well, it depends on what you're going to do, you know? Oh, not right. I mean, not just anything that's on the board right now. If I had to guess, the, the both of those rocks will no longer be there by the time we get back to his turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, 100%. That's my guess. Generous gift. Oh, gift, okay. <laughs> yeah, I got to just well, do it. I got to pull. Yeah, well, I'll tap one, and uh, I'm going to throw a rock at the... Morbid opportunist, actually. I think that's the scariest thing on the board, honestly. You get an elephant. I do, You're yeah. I'll, I'll grab one. I think I have one in my token box. Never say I don't give you anything. I'm going to tap five. We're going to get a nice, beautiful crested sun mare. What are our life totals out here? Oh, demo's looking nice. You're looking pretty nice, too. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you're making me blush. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Um, you don't have reach. That's not what the questing beast has. So I'll just uh, hit you with a sky shark for five. That is one of the things that he doesn't have, correct? Five? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I will take five. I have All no right. blocks. Taking five. I think that's it. I'm going to pass turn. All right. I'm going to untap. And I am going to draw. I do make a horse, which will be represented by these shiny tokens. And I have gotten no ramp this game and very little else. So I'm going to have to play my Yavamaya Elder because I need lands. Shadow Spear. Do I want to equip it right now, though? I don't think I do. What's that coin? It's a horse. A 5-5 five, five indestructible horse. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got an indestructible horse, so I definitely can't attack you. That would be pointless. Yeah, I just don't have any good targets to attack here, so I'm going to pass turn. You can attack me, right? I, I could. You have oh, a 3-3, three, three, right? With, I can block with my commando, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'll pass. Untap. I've got an upkeep trigger. I will put a bounty counter on the walking atlas. Oh. Um. I draw for turn. I will play a swamp. I will then pay one, two, three, four for a uh, culling ritual. Oh boy. Oh god. Oh, that's such a good card. I like it. Mm. Oh, please. So count your artifacts. Oh no. <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> uh, well, I'm so glad I played I'm my gonna... Shadow Spear last turn. Yeah. I do have a response. I'm going to tap Doggo and sack this uh, this rock um, to deal two damage to Julian Higgins. To what? You're going face? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay. Yeah, um, I, th I think I don't have anything. I think so, I'm Julian, let's you go. do you realize you just killed Quain? And that's a oh. crime that I'll never... I'll never forgive. So yeah. Just give me give me the numbers. Uh, start with one. Stay healthy. Four. Yeah, so uh, I have seven. Uh, I got the five tokens and two mana rocks. So, so seven, 
one for I uh, will play uh, Casualties of War. Oh boy. War oh, War. okay, sir. I will destroy the Questing Beast as creature. I will destroy the Unwinding Clock as an artifact. Really? Yeah. Um, there's no enchantment, I guess. No. And there's no Planeswalker. No. So I will destroy the uh, Rogue's Passage as a land. Oh. Okay, I have a response, and I'm so glad I didn't use this on my Shadow Spear because I was Ooh. thinking about it. Okay. I'm going to Tamiyo Safekeeping, my commander. One of my favorite cards from the new set. Yeah, I put it in here as soon as I could, and I'm glad I did not use it on my Shadow Spear now. Wise choice. Mm -hmm. So your commander stays alive, but the rest, uh, the other targets. And I will gain two life, apparently, as well. I will then use... I need a blocker for your commander, man. Who, me? Yeah. I only got four Ooh, commander man. damage. I will use uh, four more, so I've got three left, and play a solemn. I will take the three and pay two more for a cadaver's bloom. Then I pass the turn. Your board got pretty demolished there. It, it did, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to uh, recast Stylus for five. And I might go for just playing an island. I'll get a rock. And uh, that's the turn. No draw. I'm going to gain one life because it's Shabraz counter on him. Oh yeah. Quay needs to be cast. Let's get him back out here. Demo, we're gonna I'm gonna send a an indestructible horse at you. You are, eh? Yeah. Uh I'm gonna chump with my Yeah my elder. You got it. Because I have to go get a couple lands, so when he dies I will search my library for two basic land cards. Which of course will both be forests and I will put them in my hand. And I will pass. All right. Untap. I can't believe I only have six lands still. I will draw for turn, and then I will play a land. Same. I only have six. I'll play a power matrix. It's a card. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that it's is. Pretty good with my commander. Flying first strike, trample, vigilance, death touch, haste. That's all. a lot of abilities. But thank God, still no uh, reach. <laughs> yes. Lucky but for you. flying. Flying works too, though. But Yeah, I'm going to attack. Uh, I'll just attack Nell Haffy since he can't block me, I believe. I think that's probably the safest choice at the moment. All right. Uh, yeah, no blocks for just, me. So just take... four. Four. All right. Um, I will uh, tap Vati of Dal and give the Questing Beast one toughness. So Caldrops kills it. I'm going to power matrix yeah, in response and, and give it yeah. plus one, plus one. I Damn. bet you do. I so bet you do. Now it's a five, two. <laughs> All right, I'll yeah, take, I'll take so one more. Now you will take five <laughs> instead. You can thank Julian for that. <laughs> yeah. you know, what the hell, Julian? <laughs> Sorry, but I needed to do that. What is with you today? Practice to save time, the mirrored landscape. Okay. I am done for turn. You, you go now. Okay. I untap. I will play a forest. I will tap five. Discard into exile for two black. Uh, oh, I need, only need to tap one, two, three, four. Sorry. Um, so that's six mana in total. And I will discard again into exile for uh, two more black. So that's four. That's eight mana in total. And I will attempt to cast Decree of Pain. Oh. Yeah. In, res in response of my Decree of Pain, I play an Heroic Intervention. Oh, oh dude. Come on. Well, I have no response. Yeah, I got nothing here. So I need the creature yeah. count. I got three that are dying. Queen's so dead again? Yeah, three my cards. commander goes back to the command zone. Oh. Yeah, well, my indestructible horses. 
won't die, so there. So you that's got, uh, eight. two from me. Okay, so that's five, and then Three. eight in total. So eight yeah. in total. So I draw eight. Discard into exile for two black. I will also discard into exile for two black and underworld connection. So that's four black floating. And I will play uh, Kerouac, the Spiteful. I will then pay two for a, a Matrite Stone. I will go to combat. I will attack Demo with my Solemn Solemn Anacrum. It dies because of the Caldrops and the minus one, minus one. And I can draw a card. You need to draw more cards? Uh, <laughs> I'm back to the seven, right? Oh. No, I'm eight. Eight, I can still play one thing. That's mm, nice. Okay. okay. I will tap two and play a quest for renewal. So it was worth drawing another card. Um, of course. And with that, I go to my end step. I'll draw for turn. I will tap seven. Uh, just burn all his dust. Oh, man. <laughs> God damn it. hey, it's, it's only going to affect Julian, right? Well, those horses no. are white too, aren't no, they? No, my horses! <laughs> no! Well, it seems oh, like wow. everyone's taking my advice on the removal. Well, at least that stuff's gone. Everything but the artifacts. Uh, I'm going to go for an Ornithopter Paradise. And wow. I'll play an Evolving Wilds. And pass the turn. All right. On top. Wow. What a board state we all have. This is nice. I'm going to fetch and see if I actually have any basics left. Still no lands over here. So I better play uh, Burnished Heart for three. Yeah, I'll just go right ahead and sacrifice it. All right. Just I'm going two. to uh, yeah. Worldly oh, Tutor. What? On your turn. I assume you're okay. not doing much else. Oh, nothing else except getting these lions. And I think I'm going to get a Springleaf Avenger because I want to try it on for size, and I also happen to have a whole lot of permanence in my graveyard. So I think it's going to be good at this point in the game. So that will go on top. I will untap. Draw my Springleaf Avenger. I will play a forest, and I guess I will just play my Springleaf Avenger. One, two, three, four... Five. That is all for now. I'm passing turn. I will draw for turn. I will recast my commander for six. Then I will pay one for instill energy onto my commander. And with that, I pass turn. All right. I'm going to tap 5 for Togo. Then I'll go for the Sanctuary. If I can get a rock. And I'll tap 6. Uh, to play uh, Marionette Master. Oof. Oh. Uh, so it's going to come in with uh, three 1-1 one -one counters. And I'll just tap the Ornithopter. And equip it with a rock. And I'll pass turn. Okay. Yeah, untap. Draw. Okay, Omancer's map. I got 10 lands. That's great. <laughs> and so I'll search for that in a second. And also play a ghostly prison. And I'll go searching for those lands. And then after that, I will pass turn. I'm going to untap. And I'm going to draw. And I'm going to play an Orin Frost Fang. Then I'm going to attack with my Spring Leaf Avenger. Yeah, I'm going to attack. Uh, I think I will attack Julian. I can't imagine he's going to block. I will block with Vati Ildal. You are? Seriously? Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and I will pay three to give him Indestructible. Okay. I, I will. Use my power matrix then. <laughs> um, he's already blocked, but he's got trample now. 
So I will trample <laughs> over for... Oh, my God. He's a 3-3, three, three, right? He's a 3-3. Three, three. So my guy's a 7-6 now, so I will trample over four damage. Mm-hmm. And I will draw a card off my Orin Frostfang, and I will also return a permanent card from my graveyard to my hand. And I create a servo. Which is going to be... I think I'm going to get my Shadow Spear, actually. And then I will um, play my Shadow Spear. I don't have a servo, so I will take the Construct. Okay, I think I will just equip my Shadow Spear. And... Uh, that is all. I'm done. And tap. Draw. Play a swamp. Because of our Kaomancer's map, I will also put a planes. I will pay three for uh, Sarolf Realm Eater. Oh, no. And I will pay one, two, three, four, five, six for a Sangir. The Dark Baron. I will uh, go to combat and I will attack Demo with my 1 1 construct, the dice. So the Sengir gets two counters. Why are you always attacking me? Is that just. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not really attacking you, right? Uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm sure there's a message you're sending there, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then I pass. All right, I will attack you. Uh, to. Artifact Land Cycle, the Sojourner's Companion. Uh, I'm going to get Treasure Vault. And I'll play it for turn and get a rock. Oh, did you play a land? Uh, yeah, I just played the Treasure Vault that I searched for. Okay, I will also play a Plains. Carter, that white bordered Plains is giving me a headache. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just I can't Here, stop. Here, I'll look. cover it up. <laughs> Good, because I can't so, stop looking at it. I'm just gonna pass the turn. All right, here we go. I'm drawing a card after I untap all these lands. Untap four. Phyrexian processor. Ooh, nice. Oh wow. How much life are you paying? Paying twenty. One. Oh boy. I'm going to pay four and tap it and make a 2121 represented by this uh, battle droid token. <laughs> this is the point in the game to play stuff like that, I think, because everyone has used a whole ton of their removal already in this yeah, game. Anyway. I've held on to it demo since my opening hand, yeah. waiting for people to use all their removal. <laughs> all right. You're all done? All right. I pass. All right, untapping and drawing, and I will play a forest. I have two big problems on this board, and that's Julian's commander and also the Seralf, I think. So completely ignoring like <laughs> Marinette Master and the Twenty One. <laughs> <laughs> well, you I can mean, jump block for days. A big vanilla creature doesn't scare me that much. The problem is, if I attack, are you just going to kill my creature though, right? All right, well, I'm certainly going to be attacking. I just am not sure who. I think I will be attacking Nelhafi with my Spring Leaf Avenger. Right. So it is a 7 6, and it has Trample and Lifelink. All right. Um, oh, and Death Touch, sorry. Trample, Lifelink, and Death Touch. <laughs> Pretty good combination. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just going to not block. Not block. That's what I, I like to will, hear. I will, in response, uh, make it uh, one power. One power? Wow, yes. look at you. Nice guy. <laughs> okay, so I'll gain two life then, and you'll only lose two, I guess, apparently. But I still get the triggers, so I will draw off my Frost Fang, and I will return a permanent from my graveyard to my hand. And I actually think I will get the... Rex Sage, I think, uh, for, for no particular reason. Uh, just an insurance policy, that's all. Hey. Um, I'm going to play an Uvenwald Tracker. I will also play a Toski. All right. That's it. I'm passing turn. All right. I'll tip. And there we go. 
I will pay one, two, three, four for Horobi Death Wall. Oh boy. Uh oh. <laughs> Creatures oh. gonna be dying all over the place here, I think. Hey Julian. Hmm? Give me a player that I can swing at. <laughs> hey, don't make me regret not destroying that Frixian processor. <laughs> Why not? Because I think I'm already regretting it. I probably oh, should well. have. We can't change that. I will pay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for a grave betrayal. Oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, now I'm glad I didn't play my Rex Age. Okay. I will tap my Vatil doll to target the Frost Fang. Hmm. Okay. So it dies. And it comes back on my side with a 1 plus 1 counter, and it's a zombie. And since a creature died, Senge gets two counters. And also the Sarulf gets a counter. It will then move to combat. No flyers demo, right? I do not, no. So I hit you for eight in the air. Ooh. Um, well, no. I'm going to actually give your creature plus one, <laughs> plus one, flying first strike and trample. Ooh. Oh, I forgot about that. That's cool. Damn. I honestly was looking at it like I could give one of my creatures flying to have it yeah. block, and then I was like, oh, wait, that'll kill it. Oh, oh no, wait, that's too good. that will kill it. Yeah, Hirobi <laughs> yeah. Death's Whale is a tough so card to play man. around with. Yeah, these, think, these rocks yeah. are pretty good now. Yeah, 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 it's also, oh, I can't, no. I, that the thing is, I can't reuse my commander. Since, uh, you can't uh, equip those rocks, actually. Yeah, Equipping targets, like, so that'll kill your creature. Yeah, that's so, true. I pass. I, I got the uh, end of your turn. Uh, I'm going to tap the Ornithopter. To add uh, one mana of any color. I'm going to tap 10 mana uh, and sacrifice treasure vault. That's an artifact going to my graveyard. I'm going to have uh, Julian lose four. Uh, and then I will make five treasure tokens. And then I'll go to my turn. I'm going to tap. One for a weaker as well. And I'll stack it. I'd have Julian lose four. Oh boy. Yeah, he will kill me easy. Yeah, oh. that thing's gonna get out of hand fast. I'll get an island and put a rock into play. Hmm. And I'll tap one, two. Five, uh, six, and I play Bruticlad. So going to combat. Yeah, I'm gonna make a blue mirror, a two-one blue mirror artifact creature token, and then I can choose a token I control, uh, and each other token becomes a copy of it. Uh, so good thing it doesn't target. So I'm gonna choose my treasure token. So the mirror plus. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to get seven more treasures to go to 13. It's enough to kill Carter and me on the spot. Don't do that. Mm hmm. Look at Demo there. <laughs> I'll tap you for a dreamscape artist. Demo. Hmm? I just. I just I just realized what you could have done. Yeah, so did I. So did I. The Tyrite Sanctum, right? Yeah. Targeting. Yeah, targeting Bruticlad. I was actually thinking about it to get rid of your Hirobi. I was gonna do it target your Hirobi just to get rid of it. But yeah. I was like, can I can I put it on the Marionette Master? No, it's not a legendary creature. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna sack seven of the treasures. Uh go to five and um I guess add blue mana, uh, pointing all the triggers at Julian. 
Okay, I will respond. <laughs> um, before he dies, I'm I am going to put a counter on your uh, on your brood clad. Yeah, for sure. Um, just to target it and have it die because of Hirobi. So this dying is an artifact. So I'm gonna Oof. target. <laughs> Yeah, I'll target you demo with the trigger. All right, four. I will lose four, and I will die. I did what I can. Yeah, I'll pass sure. the turn. All right. I didn't know if I would make it to my turn. <laughs> I'm so glad to be here, guys. Well, he's got how many treasures? You got there five. I got five. Yes, yeah. so I got twenty damage. I guess twenty damage. Ready to All go. All right. Okay. <laughs> Come on, give me some good. Someone is probably taking 20 to the face no matter That's what not here. I need it at all. Okay. I got to do this. Do, this do it. Yeah. Um All right, what do you got, Carter? Well, I'm going to play this terrain generator. That's not spicy mm -hmm. at all. Nope. Um <clears throat> first, I think I will play Narset. Mm. Just so that I can go down to to see what spicy thing I can get. I'm going to look at the top four. I'm getting a Mordekainen. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yes. Austere command, everyone. Let's ah. have some fun. <laughs> what I'm going to do picking? destroy all creatures with converted mana cost three or less and four or greater. You're just doing creatures, eh? Yeah, because it doesn't matter. If I do artifacts, you can just set, sacrifice those. Yeah, um, yeah that won't do nothing. Treasure. Right? right, so might as well just do yeah. all creatures. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any responses? Yeah, demo, you don't have any responses. I'm going to respond to the. Yeah, cast. I got nothing. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll sack the treasures for mana that's just going to go away. And I'm going to direct 20 at uh, Farquad. Oh, demo, you lucky son of a gun. And then, uh, since the Ornithopter is dying at the same time as the Marionette Master, I'll direct another four at you, Farquaad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The spite is strong. I mean, you can still crank out 21, 21 creatures, though, right? <laughs> like, I guess. <laughs> My Toski, obviously, being indestructible, doesn't go anywhere. Well, that's the best that I could do. Pretty good. I mean, that's... Well, no, you, you're you saying that. It's sitting pretty at 40. <laughs> okay? I just lost 24 life. I had... It wasn't I had a very a, good turn. Well, I had answers as well, but yeah. Uh -huh. I can live with that. Yeah. I will untap. I will... I mean, I also lost 26 in one turn. So. Yeah. The game uh, sped up club. pretty quickly here. All right. I am going to get to work while I can. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to play my commander, I think. And I'm going to combat, and I'm going to swing. Toski has to attack, and I will... Yeah, I'll just swing both at uh, Nalhafi. So you got five right, coming at you. Good. And I will play nice. my land for turn. And then think. I'm going to... I'm going to pass. Right. I'll drop it turn. How many cards in hand you got? Uh, I have two right now. Two, okay. What about you, Carter? Two. Two, right? Eh? Okay. <laughs> this is the worst coin game I've had. I haven't gotten any of those on <laughs> tappers. I'm going to tap uh, six uh, to encore the Fathom Fleet Sword Jack. Ooh, oh, boy. Oh, okay. You have no artifacts, though, right? I have no artifacts, so it's okay. just four threes. I guess I'll go to combat, and I have to pay two to attack Farquaad. Oh, good game. You're killing him? Yeah. Okay, and I will... Uh, it, how big is that guy? That's 4-3. Four, three. A 4-3? Four, three? Okay, I will... Yeah, it's a, it's a token as well. It's going to be exiled. Because I'm going to do this anyway. I'm going to put a plus one, plus one counter with my Tyrite Sanctum on my commander. And now it's a 5-5. Five, five, and I will block... Okay. What else you got? Uh, I got a Cascade Bluffs. <laughs> and uh, That's not too scary. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> I believe I've cast Silas twice, so can't recast any of my commanders. I'll just pass the turn. Okay, untap. Draw. You have no creatures, eh? Okay, I'm going to play a glorious sunrise. Okay, then I will. I'm going to play it safe here. Well, maybe I won't. Okay, I'm going to go to combat. I'm going to have my Glorious Sunrise trigger, and I will give target land. Um, I control is going to tap for three green, and then I am going to swing. Um, All right. So five, six total at you. Cool. Uh, no responses. No responses. I will now draw two cards. I'm going to play a land for turn on my second main phase, and then this land, which is tapping for three, I will tap for three and four, and then I will sacrifice my Tyrite Sanctum to make my commander indestructible. Mm -hmm. Or there is an indestructible counter on it, which I will use this other dice for. And then I'm going to play a Whisper of the Wilds. For two mana. That's it. I'm done. I'll draw for turn. It's at four, uh, five, six. Cast a blasphemous act. <laughs> Just to kill the whisper? Great. Oh my yeah, god. I, guess so. I am happy I put that indestructible counter on there. I'll have seven. So I can play Silas. Alrighty. I'll pass turn. All right, untapping. Draw. I'm going to equip my Shadow Spear onto my commander. Yep. I'm also going to play a Guardian Augmenter, even though it has Flash, because I want to give my commander the bump. Um, and then I'm just going to pile it on here and cast my Rex Sage and kill your commander. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Sorry, buddy. Uh, go to combat, and at the beginning of combat, I am going to choose... Uh, how yeah, much commander think, damage no. do you have? 14. Uh, I got 14. <laughs> okay, so my commander is a 5566888. Five, six, six, eight, eight. And you have 14 commander damage? <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh, okay, so I'll just attack you with my commander. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good game. <laughs> that makes things a little easier. Yeah, it does. All right, good game, guys. So, interesting game. Uh, you know, like I said, that to me felt like a very typical casual game to me. Again, it was an hour and 46 minutes, the actual playing time edited down to, you know, less than half of that. So, you know, interestingly enough, I just talked about in my personal deck text video a couple weeks ago how I was not really loving my Questing Beast deck lately and because I hadn't won with it in a while. I'd lost probably like, in fact, ever since I started playing with my Questing Beast deck, on spell table with my patrons, I had lost every single game, you know, which is not in a four player game. That doesn't really necessarily mean a ton. It does nice to win once in a while. And, and winning this game was like, oh, so I just thought it was interesting that I had just talked about how I hadn't won with that deck in a long time. And then like literally the next day after I posted that video is when we played this game. And so it's kind of funny how that worked out. I will mention a couple things. So I, I know as with all gameplay videos, there's going to be mistakes. We probably made a few. You know, there was a little bit that got edited out. We, we we noticed the mistakes while we were playing. There was a couple times where I was like, oh, that doesn't work like that, or this doesn't work, and that stuff got edited out. So hopefully we corrected it. So there is one mistake here, which I think didn't actually affect the outcome of the game, and that is the play where the Fathom Fleet Sword Jack is attacking and is being blocked by Cheville. And of course, Cheville has Death Touch. It's going to kill the Sword Jack, and now Haffy, in response, uses the Rock Chucking from his commander, from his Silas, to kill the Cheville, right? Because after blockers are declared, before the damage is dealt, he can kill the Cheville so that his Sword Jack survives. And then Julian responds with his Charm to regenerate his Cheville because he doesn't want to lose it. So after a creature is regenerated, and a lot of people aren't aware of the rules of regeneration, and I, I probably should have caught this because I am very aware of the rules of regeneration. So what should have happened here is 
Silas targets the Cheville with the rock. It's going to kill it. When you regenerate, it's sort of this shield that sort of goes on the stack. And then when that creature dies or gets destroyed or is dealt lethal damage, it regenerates. And when a creature regenerates, you tap it and it is removed from combat. Okay, this is the important part. A lot of people might think the Cheville should still die because it is being regenerated from the Silas effect, but it's not being regenerated from the damage dealt by the sword jack but that's actually correct it's removed from combat any regenerated creature is removed from combat so it's no longer a blocking creature it's not going to take the damage however because it's removed from combat it's no longer dealing damage to the sword jack how that should have played out is the sword jack should have been blocked it's not going to be dealing any damage to julian it's not going to receive any damage either so both players should have kept their creatures on the board at the end of the day and julian should have not taken any combat damage from the sword jack so it can be tough with those interactions sometimes you know especially with a, a very old ability like regeneration where people are not sure exactly how it works again i probably should have caught that i did catch a few other things in the game that you know we had to little rewind a little bit it's tough you know again this is a work in progress the production value isn't the greatest but again i wanted to get these gameplay videos out there so that people can really see you know sort of i i do a lot of talking i should do some walking here as well with the way i think that people should build commander decks and the way that a casual game should play out so hope you guys enjoyed the video i will be having more in the future, more gameplay videos for you guys to check out, especially if people, you know, if people really like seeing these videos, I might do it more, you know, but I probably will do it from time to time, regardless of how things go forward. So hope you guys enjoyed it, but that's it for today. And thanks for tuning in.